This may look like an ordinary distributor, but there's a whole lot more going on here than meets the eye. This is next generation tech from progression ignition, and as horsepower freaks, it can make our lives a whole lot easier. Now it's likely you've never heard of progression ignition. That's because they're a pretty new player on the scene. But if you use carburetors, their new ignition systems can potentially be a game changer. That's because the usual mechanical linkages that control advance and everything else are eliminated underneath the cap. Instead, everything is computer controlled and there's even Bluetooth capability. So you can control your timing, your advance curve, everything with your smartphone. That means there's actually a use for your smartphone now instead of wasting time on Instagram. Now there are a lot of advantages to be had with a system like this. And the obvious one is tunability. With the progression ignition system, you can actually control not only your timing, but your advanced curves. And they've even built in the capability of controlling boost retard if you're running a turbo or supercharger or something like that. Now if you have a street strip car and you take your car to the track and you're constantly changing things up, this can be huge because you can do it all right from the driver's seat instead of popping the hood and pulling out the timing light and everything like that. Once you confirm your initial timing is properly set, everything else can be handled from your phone. All right, let's take a look under the hood and see what this thing's all about. Progression Ignition's distributor still uses a magnetic pickup like you're going to find in most modern distributors. It's right here. Every time a cog on the reluctor wheel passes by the pickup, the distributor energizes the appropriate spark plug. But everything else is controlled by this circuit board, so you'll notice there's no mechanical advance necessary. Now, for comparison's sake, here's a more traditional distributor with a mechanical advance. If you've worked with mechanical advance before, you know that the springs and bushings used to get the weights to swing out at the appropriate time can be finicky and a pain to work with. Plus, they wear every time you apply the throttle, so it's a given that over time, your timing advance is going to wander. This system eliminates all that. Now on top of that, you do not need an ignition box. Some people call it a brain box or other things like that with this system. The only external component that you're gonna need is a coil. Now progression ignition says all of that is handled by the, the gizmo circuitry underneath here. And it actually controls the dwell time and monitors that so you get eight amps, which is the proper amount to the coil all the way up to 10,000 RPM. Now of course, this is enough talking. It's time to let the rubber meet the road and let's put this on an engine and actually do some testing. We took the distributor to Automotive Specialist where engine builder Jeff Dorton agreed to test it on an engine they had just completed. The progression ignition distributor dropped in just like a standard unit. It even has a billet adjustable collar to allow you to set the correct depth in the engine for proper mesh with the camshaft's distributor gear. Progression Ignition even marks the billet aluminum housing to help you properly time up the distributor for the first fire up. Once the distributor is in place, there's just a single plug that attaches to the coil as well as a ground wire, and that's it for the electronics. We also ran a vacuum line from the spacer underneath the carburetor to the distributor's built-in vacuum port. The distributor has a two and a half bar map sensor that not only operates as a digital vacuum advance, but it also helps with boost retard tables. And then we were ready to reinstall the cap, route the plug wires, and fire the engine up. Our test engine is a Chevy small block built for racing. It has 18 degree cylinder heads, 13 to one compression, a single plane intake, and an 850 CFM carburetor. This X NASCAR engine is now used for road racing. It is a beast and makes over 700 horsepower. We figured if we're going to test this ignition, we'll really put it to the test. The Bluetooth feature is impressive, but the distributor must also be able to provide a strong, consistent spark. If it can do that in a high compression engine burning race gas at 7,000 RPM, and those are three big tasks for any ignition, then we'll know it can work in practically any application. The distributor comes with a timing table pre-installed that will get the engine up and running with the timing fixed at 10 degrees before top dead center. Once the engine is running, Dorton confirms that the timing is accurately set at the distributor's 10 degree baseline and we can get to work. We shut off the engine but left power to the distributor. Next, we installed the Progression Ignition app on Dorton's iPhone. By the way, it'll also work on Android phones and tablets and got it communicating with the ignition via the Bluetooth connection. 
In the app, we pulled up the generator button and set up our baseline. From the top down, we let the system know that it is working on a V8, our desired idle speed, ignition timing while at idle, maximum timing when fully advanced, the all-in RPM or speed when we would like the distributor to hit full advance, the maximum vacuum advance and the start and end points for vacuum advance, as well as the rev limiter. Note that much of the options are already set up with the baseline settings, which should work very well. We didn't even change the factory vacuum advance settings for our test. Once that was done, the Progression Ignition app generated a custom ignition table based around our settings and we saved it to the distributor. Saving the custom table to the distributor literally only took seconds and we were ready to refire the engine and see what the results were. With the engine running, you can see the timing table operating in real time. The horizontal axis is RPM while the vertical is vacuum. Notice what happens when we remove the vacuum line from the distributor's vacuum port. Any point on the timing table can be adjusted manually in a range from 10 to 50 degrees before top dead center. You can move and then plus or minus. You can just highlight all through the curve. Oh, wow, so, okay. So it's real easy to change. Great. Timing at idle can be kept low at around 10 degrees or so to make cranking a hot engine easier. That's the top left-hand corner of the timing map where there's still plenty of vacuum. But you can also bump up the timing a bit as the vacuum drops. That's the lower left-hand corner of the map. So you can keep the engine running smooth when you drop an automatic transmission into gear or maybe when you switch on the air conditioning. There's also a quick review screen where you can check with just a glance engine RPM, manifold pressure, and timing advance. We checked it against the dyno screen and it appears to be pretty accurate. Pretty close. But enough of that, it's time to make power. We wanted to test the quality of the custom generated table, so our first runs were with the advanced table exactly as the app generated it. As you can see, the results were pretty impressive. The race engine made peaks of 574.7 pound-feet of torque at 5,800 RPM and 709.7 horsepower at 7,000. Dorton had already run this engine with a traditional ignition system with the timing locked at 32 degrees, and he says the peak power numbers were practically identical between the two. The automatically generated timing table was practically perfect. Plus, the Progression Ignition Distributor offers the additional advantages of easy tuning, multiple timing tables for street and strip, and even an ignition lockout you can set from your phone to easily protect your car from theft. Of course, we couldn't leave well enough alone. We tested many different settings, and this one was pretty interesting. From the phone, we told the distributor not to reach maximum advance until 6,500 RPM. Generate that table. And that's what a timer will look like. Excellent. On the previous run, we had the distributor hit all in by 3,000 RPM. Here, you can see how moving the total advance to 6,500 RPM 
really hurt the power all the way through the band. It started off the same as you might expect, but by 5100 RPM, the engine was warning more ignition advance. That hurt the power and it lasted until nearly 6500 RPM where the advance was close enough again for the lines to nearly match back up. Both Dorton and I think the Progression Ignition Distributor has a real benefit in carbureted engines and we haven't even tested it yet with a turbo or a blower setup. The ability to quickly and easily adjust timing curves can be a real advantage if you have different setups for street and strip or if you're constantly working on and improving your car. For example, Maybe you've installed a new set of long tube headers or maybe a cam. You want to make sure that you're getting the most from them and with the progression ignition distributor, it's a piece of cake to do a set of timing sweeps at the track to find out. The possibilities are nearly endless with this thing and we look forward to testing a few more ideas in the future. Thanks for watching.